Hi guys, JT here and I'm bringing you my top 10 list of RPG games that you can buy today from the Steam Summer Sale. Note that these are games that are 75% off and over, so I couldn't include games like Resident Evil 2 Remake as it is not at that point in discount. Sorry Resident Evil. At number 10, we have Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. This is the remastered version of the PS3 game released in 2011. Some consider this a mix between Pokemon through its monster collection and the Tales series through its more action-oriented battle system. If you're into spending days on end, leveling up, and going through the RPG journey collecting monsters, then this is the game for you. At number 9, we have SD Gundam G Generation Crossrays. I have been looking out for this game for a while now as I used to watch a few Gundam series and build Gunpla myself. This game is a strategy game with some cool fight scenes, so if you're into Gundam and strategy, this is definitely a game for you. At number 8, we have Middle-Earth Shadow of War, one of the better if not the best Lord of the Rings games out there to date. It features a great open world to explore and a nemesis system which brings some character to the enemies that you fight. If you have some thirst for orcs blood in Middle-Earth, then this is a good deal. At number 7, we have South Park The Fractured But Whole, which is a tactical strategy game, albeit simpler compared to the likes of the XCOM series. Do expect plenty of South Park related jokes and characters from the show as you play through the game as the Coon and Friends superheroes, starring the characters that we have come to know and love over the past 24 years. At number 6, we have Code Vein, a Souls-like game that will test your patience and endurance. You are paired up with an AI companion as you explore, fight goons, and fight bosses with precisely timed attacks, typically seen in Souls-like games like Dark Souls. You can choose to go at it alone without an AI partner, which brings it even closer to the Dark Souls experience. With the Souls series never really being on sale, this is a really good alternative. At number 5, we have One Piece Pirate Warriors. Now this is basically a beat em up Warriors game with One Piece characters and settings, and it works! If you're familiar with the Warriors game series, you'll have tons of fun bashing up tons of mobs, going through story missions, and generally having a good time. I will pick this up if you're looking for a bit of an adventure, and if you're a little bit pissed off at life. At number 4, we have Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. If you've ever played the Force Unleashed games, this is not one of those games. This is a soul slide, meaning your movements and attacks have to be precise and timed, and do expect to die over and over again in boss fights. However, this game also has elements of games like Uncharted and Tomb Raider, where you have some platforming to do and some puzzles to solve. If you're a Star Wars nerd like I am, with propensity for souls like pain and suffering, I mean challenge, then this is definitely a game for you. At number 3, we have Yakuza 0, a game filled with story. A really good one at that. With its vast open world spanning across two cities of Japan, over 100 side missions, each of its own unique comedic stage and value. Moreover, being an origin story for its characters, it is the most accessible Yakuza to date, as it is not bogged down by its own background story. I would highly recommend picking this up if you're wanting to get lost in a good mafia crime story and if you're into everything Japan. At number 2, we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I see this as an upgrade to Assassin's Creed Origins as it is the follow-up game to their more RPG-heavy style that the new Assassin's Creed games are known for. It has a vast open world to explore, plenty of missions to take on, ancient Templars to assassinate and loot to hoard. Do expect yourself spending hours just living in ancient Greece. I would highly recommend this game if you're into Assassin's Creed or open world games. Trusting you on Capalonia was a mistake.
And finally, at number 1, we have Borderlands 3. This game is highly divisive among fans of the series, as the story could not compare to what's delivered by its predecessor, aka Borderlands 2. However, what kept me hooked was the gunplay itself. Collecting guns and seeing them melt the faces of goons and bosses brings a degree of satisfaction to the game. There are plenty of missions to do and secrets to find that would recommend Borderlands 3 and all of its DLC. Anyway, that is my top 10 list of RPG games that you can buy from the Steam Summer Sale 2022 there at 75% off and over. What games are you getting this Summer Sale? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I post great PC gaming deals every day, including bundles. See you next time.